technology company. Ellie Hoding, what jumps at you as to the legal merits of this case and what Dominion will have to prove here? Yeah, John, Fox is in a tough spot here, and here's why. The First Amendment gives media companies very broad protections, but it's not unlimited. Dominion has to prove two things to make its case. One, the statements were false. We know they were false. Everybody knows they were false. There's no proof of them. And second, that Fox knew they were false or was recklessly disregarding the truth of it. Now, here's the thing to remember. Just a few days ago, earlier this week, Sidney Powell, the lead purveyor, one of the lead purveyors of this whole election fraud theory, said, my statements were so ridiculous, so obviously false, that no reasonable person would have taken them seriously. That mm. puts Fox News in the difficult position of either saying, yeah, we were in on this whole sort of scheme with Sidney Powell, which is not going to help them, or we were so gullible, so non-credible, in our reporting that we actually did believe Sidney Powell's ridiculous theories. Either way, they're in a tough spot here. Put up the all-star team that was there before uh, of who's named uh, in this lawsuit. Uh, these are all people who were named in the suit. You can read the names for yourself. They are not specifically charged in this suit, Ellie. The reason I want you to see this is because at one point, Tucker Carlson, he explained to his viewers why he wasn't letting Sidney Powell come on. He actually went through this, like, 10-minute thing where he described at length what she was accusing right. uh, of happening in the elections. But he said he wouldn't put her on because she couldn't provide evidence. Does that put Fox in a weird way in even more trouble, Ellie, because you have someone on TV saying, we don't have the evidence here. We don't have the evidence here. And if elsewhere on the network they're promoting the lies, what does that tell you? Exactly, John. As to the issue of whether Fox knew... Right there. Of course they knew. And Dominion points out in the lawsuit, we notified them. We told them dozens of times, anchors, producers, that this was false. We demanded retractions. And what's really interesting in this filing, which I just looked at, is Dominion alleges that Fox had a very specific reason, intentionality, for pushing these lies. What Dominion alleges is Fox started losing viewers after the election because they were deemed not sufficiently pro-Trump, not supportive enough of Donald Trump. And so the allegation Dominion makes is in order to bring those viewers back, they knowingly and intentionally spread that lie. Well, they corrected it, apparently, because last night they had the guy on spreading more <laughs> lies. Brian, listen to this. They go after people that I guess you'd call them uh, lean toward the right, and they wave American flags. In many cases, they're waving the American flag, and they love our country. It was a zero threat. Right from the start, it was zero threat. Look, uh, they went in, and they shouldn't have done it. Uh, some of them went in, and they're, they're hugging and kissing the police and the guards. You know, they, they had great relationships. Uh, a lot of the people were waved in, and then they walked in, and they walked out. So, Brian, that was the 10 o'clock insurrection hour uh, on Fox TV last night, where the former president gushes about the insurrectionists, saying they caused no harm. There were five people dead after that insurrection for one reason or another there. Nobody saw anyone kissing the police that day. We all saw people trying to injure the police. This incredible and just absolutely farcical attempt at revisionist history is something that Laura Ingram should have called out in real time. You know, she kind of tried to walk away gently after a little while, but come on, give me a break. You know what happened, because, you know, we all saw it on live television. And it's so revealing and so sad that the former president continues to promote these old stories about this big lie and tries to rewrite history. It's a shame on the conscience of the country to have a former president continuing to lie about this terror attack. And yet, you know, we all just accept, accept it at this point because that's the former president. And by the way, you know, this is all a fundamental about money and profits. The Murdochs now being targeted for their profits in this Dominion lawsuit. I don't know, if, you know, it, perhaps Trump is safe at Mar-a-Lago, but the Murdochs have to be very worried about these developments. Ellie Honig, Brian Stelter, appreciate you both coming on with this breaking news. Thank you. Thanks.